You're tuning into Black and White Sports on YouTube. The no holds barred truth on sports. The main event starts now. Real quick, guys, before we actually dive into the video today, I meant to actually put this in the video, but um, we have a new shirt in the merch store. You can support us. You can get your donkey pot shirt. The disease that is destroying America. We're talking about the Democrat Party here. You can get it in uh, multiple colors. And you can also get 25% off by using the discount code USA first. I actually like this uh, army green color right here. You can actually get a better look at it right there. 25% off guys. If you use the discount code USA first. All right, guys, we're going to be talking soccer here in this video. And this particular player that we're going to be talking about in the video, we've actually made a video, I believe, in the past about her. Her name is Jaylene Daniels. Uh, she is actually a Christian. She is a devout Christian. She has a Christian beliefs, and I believe that her religious beliefs need to be respected just like somebody else's of a different religion. Now, if I'm not mistaken, when we made the video on her in the past, I believe this was probably like a year ago because the. Uh, if I'm not mistaken, I believe it was the U.S. national team that called her up and uh, they actually bent the knee and apologized because they called her up because she is a Christian and she doesn't believe in the alphabet agenda. Well, she plays for the North Carolina Courage now. And guys, I don't know what it is this week. But whether it's rugby or soccer, they're doing all of these pride nights. Now, I could have swore that uh, Pride Month was um, last month in June, but I guess this, this is just another extension of it. OK, but here we go. You guys can see here North Carolina Courage's Jalen Daniels sitting out teens Pride Night due to Jersey. So the North Carolina Courage to have a Pride jersey. And of course, Jalen Daniels, being a Christian, will not wear it. So she's not going to play. So I'm assuming that the team did not give her an option uh, like the um, the way the Tampa Bay uh, Ray players were able to not wear a pride jersey. They just actually wore their regular jersey and it wasn't much of a problem, you know, except for the Wolsters trying to cancel them. But that's another story. So I digress. It says here, North Carolina Courage defender Jalen Daniels will not participate in her team's pride night. Daniels is not listed on the roster for Friday's matchup against the Washington Spirit in uh, Wake Med Soccer Park in Cary, North Carolina, due to the Courage's pride themed jerseys that feature a multicolored logo in support of the LGBTQ community. Quote, Jaylene will not be rostered tonight as she has made the decision to not wear our pride jersey. While we are disappointed with her choice, we respect the right to make that decision herself. The team said in a statement to USA Today Sports, we're excited to celebrate the LGBTQIA plus community with fans, players and staff tonight and look forward to hosting our first ever Pride Festival before kickoff. Uh, this is not the first time the 29 year old has opposed wearing a Pride jersey over her religious beliefs. In June 2017, uh, Daniels declined a call up from the U.S. women's national team because she didn't want to wear jerseys honoring Pride Month. And she actually gave a statement at the time. It says, quote, I just felt so convicted in my spirit that it wasn't my job to wear this jersey. Daniel Daniels, whose maiden name is uh, Jaylene Hinkle, um, explained on a Christian talk show in 2018. I knew in my spirit I was doing the right thing. I knew I was being obedient. Just because you are obedi obedient doesn't make it easy. And uh, she retired. And then the courage. Actually, you know what? I was wrong. It wasn't the uh, the U.S. national team that um, apologized to sign her. This actually the team she was on right now. The North Carolina uh, Courage. And this was uh, back. I believe it actually mentions, mentions it down here. Yeah. The Courage issued their own statement following Daniel's signing. Writing, quote, we are sorry to all those uh, who we have hurt, especially those within the 
LGBTQIA plus community. Yeah. So this team that she's on now, they actually apologize for signing her and therefore she's not even playing tonight. But um, this is the uh, tweet that um, the North Carolina Courage actually put out. It says um, our pre-match and warm ups, warm up uh, tops today. Uh, thank you to the Fresh Market for supporting us on Pride Night and always for your value partnership with the club. And that is the logo right there. Jalen Daniels not playing tonight because she will not bend the knee to her club. You would actually think that the club would just allow her to wear a regular jersey. But, oh, no. The only way she's playing is if she actually wears a pride jersey and she's not going to do that. Now, folks always wonder, why is it that you never see the NBA actually have any type of pride night? I'm willing to bet, guys, that there's probably quite a few players in the, in the NBA that won't want to wear this. I'm just keeping it real with you guys on that. If you guys think I'm wrong about that, let me know it in the comments below. But Jalen Daniels out tonight will not be playing with her team because she will not bend the knee and wear a pride jersey. She is standing by her Christian beliefs that she will not support this alphabet agenda. That's just my thoughts on this. What do you guys think of this? Black and white sports fans. Let us know what you think about all this in the comments. Make sure to subscribe to Black and White Sports. And we'll catch you next time. Thanks for watching the show. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Be sure to tune in next time on Black and White Sports.